Hey everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what is on my iPad Pro. This is my 12.9 inch iPad Pro from 2020. This thing is the thinnest thing in the world. It's also my child, my baby. I did take it out of the case for this video so I could show you the whole thing, but it, this thing is massive, the size of my head. It's like the same size as my computer, but I love it so much. It's like my favorite thing in the world. So I wanted to share with you guys what's on it. So before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up because it will show YouTube that you like this video and push it to more people so more people will see it. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already because I'm really trying to grow over there as well. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first, I have a few stickers that I wanted to show you. I have this one. It is a rainbow. It's the logo for Maddie Green Designs. And then there's this one that's clear that says stay at home and drink iced coffee. And then this one says be better than yesterday. Um, and then also I wanted to show you my case. This, this is the case. It's from Case Defy and it is their like rolling case it's a, you can set it up like this or you can roll the back of it up like this however you want to do it it has a slot for the pencil and then on here i have stickers well it first of all it comes you know how you can customize stuff on their website this one says hunter and it's not a sticker so it's like fully on there which i think is cool um and then these stickers on the front are from created by christine on etsy and then on the back i have more stickers i have a glossier sticker this one is from the joyous pine co maddie green designs i made this one maddie green designs at least brianne designs I made this one. Maddie Green Design, uh, Daughter Box Creations, and then I made this one as well. So that everything on case. And then I also have a second generation Apple Pencil because why would you have an iPad without a pencil? At least an iPad Pro without a pencil. So that is what I've got for the specs and whatnot. Oh, I have 128 gigabytes. I think I just got the bare minimum of the stuff because I use iCloud. So now let's go ahead and get started. Um, I got my iPad in uh, September, but I know that a lot of people do like a lot of trial and error with apps and stuff trying to figure out the apps that they're gonna use. So I really wanted to have a good basis for the apps that I actually use so I could get rid of the ones I didn't use and just have the ones that I wanted to use. Cause like I said, I have only have 128 gigabytes of storage and that seems like a lot, but for the stuff that I do, it's really not a lot. I have more storage on my phone than I do on my iPad. So just to keep that into perspective, I'm using about 40 gigabytes right now, but now let's go ahead and get started. So this is the home screen and it says you are loved and it kind of looks like a neon sign and I did it so it looks like it's like connected to neon sign and then there's a cord going down to like plug it in um i made this yesterday actually i learned how to make something look like a neon sign and i got so excited so i decided to make one for my background someone paid me to make a graphic for them and i wanted to do it that way so that's kind of what i have there i'm obsessed with it i love this color um i just think it looks really good and i love that it's like a word down at the bottom so the top is still clear so that it's not like blocking anything on the background um whenever i turn it sideways it does block it because of the bottom bar but i don't usually turn it sideways anyway so now at the top first i have calendar um this one just comes on the iPad so I just left it there. I like the way that it looks up there because it has the the number of the day so like today's the fifth even though it says it up there in the corner as well but that, that. And then we have photos which I use obviously all the time. I make my YouTube thumbnails on here. I make graphics for people. I make Instagram stories. I saved up like I literally did a whole photo shoot for my family. Um, I do all kinds of graphic stuff so I literally have used this camera like one time and it was just to try it out so that's literally the only reason. So like here's a photo I did to test out the camera but that's it um otherwise it just i do a lot of transferring of photos on here so i don't really use the camera that much but i do use photos all the time and then i have notes i have so many random notes on here this is one that i was using yesterday so let me erase this it's because when you open like a new note it hold on let me show you when you open a new note you can just start writing um so sometimes I use notes just to like write something down really quickly um, and then when the screen is closed like turned off I would show you but it would stop the recording when you turn off the screen um, so you put it asleep and you start writing with the iPad I mean with the pencil it starts writing notes in there so I have a ton of random like handwritten note handwritten note handwritten note I have a ton of random handwritten notes so there's that and then I have settings because well we all need settings so there's that and then I have a folder called social and I have a TikTok Instagram Pinterest messenger zoom Planoly, and Facebook so TikTok obviously this is my I have two TikToks. I have one that same as my username on here. And then I have one for my, I mean my Etsy shop. So this is my TikTok for my Etsy shop. I definitely post a lot more on here. I have more followers on here. I get more views on this one. So I just, I don't really use TikTok for anything else. So there's that. And then I have Instagram and this is actually my Etsy Instagram. So um, if you want to follow it, it's just Hunter Merc Creative. It's this right here. There's that account. And then I also have my personal account on here, which is just Hunter Merc, the same as the other one. So I'm really terrible about posting 
which is at the top of the feed. Um, but yeah, so there, there, there's my personal Instagram. I really hate that there's not an iPad app for Instagram because you have to like make it big and it just, I don't know, it's just not as good. Something I'm super excited about for 2021 that I'm doing with my iPad, not my iPad, with my Instagram is um, I have a highlight called 100 books in 21 and I'm sharing the books as I read them and then I'm giving like a review. So that's kind of what's happening here. Um, I have like all the books I've read. So I think that's super cool. Um, anyway, and then I have Pinterest. I don't really post that much on Pinterest. I mostly just look there for inspo. So you should not follow me. And then Messenger, because sometimes people message me on Facebook to do different stuff for them. So I have it. And then Zoom, we all know what Zoom is. I hardly use it because I don't have a reason for Zoom because I'm not at school and I work in my office. So I don't need Zoom. And then Planoly is what I use to plan out my Instagram feed. Um, I use this to plan out my Instagram feed for both my, my personal and my Etsy shop one, but I, this is my Etsy one. I have the app on my phone that I use for my personal page. You have to pay to have more than one account on here, so that's why I have them on separate devices, but I've scheduled a couple of things up and coming, so there's that, and then I also have Facebook. Then we have streaming. I have so many streaming services, it's absolutely unreal. So first I have Netflix. Um, also, because I have so many, I'm going to tell you how I pay for them. Netflix, my parents pay for. Hulu, we pay for and share the password with my parents. Disney Plus, we pay for by the year. Prime video we have free with prime that my dad pays for and then AT&T watch tv comes free with our phone plan HBO max comes free with our internet plan and then we also have apple tv plus which came with a new apple device so we got that with our with our well we got new phones over the summer um but also it came with my ipad so there's that but i don't have it on here because i don't really watch it if i do i'll watch it on the tv next i have this folder called hmc llc so if you don't know my etsy shop that i have i actually like have a, a an llc which is a company um so it's like a registered business um, that's just so that I can file taxes with it and also in case you were to sue my company You're not suing me. You're only suing my company. So there's that but also I just wanted to have like a registered business for easier access to do taxes and things like that so I have Squarespace which is what I run my website through and then sell on Etsy because obviously I am an Etsy seller and then I have the Etsy app because I, if I want to shop for other things and then Gmail I prefer to use the mail app but for my um, email that I use for my business I have it in the Gmail app but just so that it's separate it's a little bit easier to look at and then I have sheets which is where I play videos and stuff but I decided to put my YouTube stuff into like my LLC so there's that and then I have literally all the Adobe apps that they have on on iPad So I have Illustrator, Adobe Fresco, Photoshop, Lightroom, uh, Premiere Rush, Adobe Draw, and Adobe Sketch So Illustrator is kind of I don't even know how to explain Illustrator if you've never used it before I learned how to use Illustrator in college um, I don't use it that much because the app is really complicated to use um, And you also have to have a subscription to the entire Creative Cloud suite So I do not have a subscription to that my husband does so I have his account signed into my Illustrator Other than that, I don't use it that much um, Adobe Fresco uh, uh, crap, I don't even remember what this is. I think it's like a drawing. Yeah, you can like draw and stuff. Um, and then Photoshop is obviously Photoshop. I do have a subscription to Photoshop and Lightroom together. So that's why I have those two apps on here. You can use Lightroom but without a subscription. You just have to have an account. But I have a subscription. Um, and I'd say the two apps that I use the most in the Adobe folder are Lightroom and Premiere Rush. Premiere Rush is like a little photo, not photo, video editing. It's taking up time to load. But you can edit videos in there. And I use that to edit TikTok sometimes. And then Adobe Draw and Adobe Sketch are two different just drawing apps. And then I have my reading folder, which is probably my favorite one of all time I have the ESV Bible so it's just straight up ESV nothing else it's pretty easy to look at there's not a ton of extra perks and stuff on here um, and then there's the Bible app and that has so many different versions of the Bible it has different verse of the day it has prayer lists and verse images and you can discover like reading plans and videos and things like that um, I don't use that one very much but I do use the ESV one a lot and then Libby is an app for the library so if you have a library card you can go here so I live in Greenville County. So Greenville County Library System, um, you're able to download books and you can download them onto Kindle. So these are the books that I currently have on loan. I have The Guest List by Lucy Foley, What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty, Me Moriarty, Moriarty, that's right. And then The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Um, as you can see, one person is waiting for this book. So these are other books that I've like returned to this year, but it's so nice because I'm able to read books without having to worry about buying them. Um, I do have to wait sometimes. And next I have Kindle and uh, this is, so as you can see, the three books that I just told you that I have on loan. These are ones that are on my iPad because I downloaded them through Kindle and then once I return them through the library I no longer have access to them. Um, so like I've returned The Lion Game and this time next year but they're still available and then Little Fires Everywhere, The Hunting Party, um, things like that. Some of them yeah so I just I love that and then Goodreads is where I keep track of my books because I have a goal to read 100 books in 2021. So these are the books I've read so far this year and I love reading if you can't tell. Um, it's a 
very enjoyable time for me so love reading and then next I have an app called photo or folder called photo it has collageable which I sometimes use to make thumbnails for my YouTube videos and then print is my printer right here it is a wireless printer so I don't have to like connect to it so I can print stuff on my iPad which is really nice and then I have Dropbox you can put literally anything in Dropbox but I use Dropbox to upload like photo shoots and stuff that I do for other people and then Fonto I don't really know why I have Fonto on my iPad because I use other apps to put text on my photos but I just like to have it just in case it's also easier to put your own font on here than it is on other app and then colors or coolers um it allows you to like create different color palettes so like I saved all these palettes but then you can just like generate random palettes and this is really nice for Photoshop not Photoshop for procreate because then you can just view the palette and it gives you like all the codes for all the colors so you can import them into different places which I think is super cool and then unfold is the app that you use to make Instagram stories then I have a folder of random crap stuff that I didn't really want cluttering up my page but stuff that I use occasionally so I have voice memos I don't really use that on here very much but it's there just in case I need it um I usually just use voice memos on my phone and then contacts the same thing sometimes I use maps to like trace out a map but sometimes I just want to see how far away something is and I'm on my iPad already find mine because just in case someone steals my iPad um and then I have the iTunes store FaceTime um the clock camera all those are just ones that come on here and then we have happy color which is a coloring app I haven't used this app in a little bit but I used to use it all the time um I've been a little bit more productive here recently but basically it's like color by number so let me show you so I clicked on one and I just click on all the little checkered boxes we have here see look how fun you just color it in let me fill out all of one and then I'll show you what it does did I miss something as you can see the one is still there so that means I'm missing something so oh there we go there it is and it went away and you just do that for all the colors and then obviously I have the app store because that's a necessity and then any font is an app that allows me to be able to import my own fonts into good good notes and then podcast app target because I love the shop Amazon because I love Amazon and Urban Outfitters I love looking at Urban Outfitters app and then the Apple store and Instacart in case I decide to order my groceries from my iPad I usually do it for my phone now and then I have files which I use all the time I did not think I was ever gonna use files but it's been so handy I have so many files these are the ones that are in my iCloud drive and then I have ones that are in my iPad so I have fonts and different files and stuff but this is seriously like the most helpful thing in the world because then I'm able to um, open them up on my computer without having to like airdrop or email or tag or whatever it's just fully there in the file it's so great I love it um, and those are all the apps that I have up at the top in folders and then down here I have a folder for YouTube I have obviously the YouTube app and then I have YouTube studio which gives me my analytics and then my subscriber counter 4220 it is abbreviated by the tens um, so if I had like 4219 it would say 4210 um, so it rounds down to the nearest 10 and then I have messages because I use that all the time I have my email I have two different emails on there but I have my personal email and then I have another email that I use for a lot of things and then Safari because I actually use Safari so often oh look this was me putting a hold on a book um, I use Safari so much and it's nice because it feels more like my computer rather than being on my phone and then I have GoodNote which is the best app ever if you want to know how I use GoodNotes on my iPad I made a whole video about this but um <clears throat> just the gist of it so like I have a folder called Hunter Creative LLC so that I have stuff for my business in there and then Procreate we all know and love Procreate um, I do digital illustrations which every girl on the planet does I really need to organize this better but I also create stickers and graphic and all kinds of stuff for people and myself so there's Procreate and that's everything on the bottom and then this section down here on the bottom shows you your most recently opened app so there's that and then if we come over to the side we have my widget and you can edit this so that it will like when you turn your screen to the side it will stay on the side but I just have the weather for where I live and then I have calendar so today is my friend's birthday so that reminds me that today is my friend's birthday and then I have battery so the iPad it shows me the battery and then my pencils battery and then it's charging and then when I have my airpods attached it shows me there as well then I have the bible verse of the day on here so if I click on this it'll take me through the bible app but that's mostly why I have the bible app on here so it says love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your strength Deuteronomy 5 nope Deuteronomy 6 5 and then I have my subscriber counter there so in case I don't want to open up the app but that's as much as you can do pretty much with widgets on iPad but that is everything that I have on my iPad Pro. So if you guys enjoyed it, um, let me know give this, by giving this video a thumbs up. If there are any apps that you recommend using that I did not have on here that you feel like would be helpful for me, please let me know. I would love to give some other apps try, just the ones that I have found that I downloaded and continue to use on a regular basis with the ones on the bottom being the most used. But I love every single one of them and my iPad is my child. So now I'm going to put it back in the case so that I do not damage her. Oh, also, so I forgot to mention that I do have a screen protector on here and it is from Paperlike. Um, I got it for my birthday. So that is why I felt okay spending $40 on two screen protectors instead of getting them from Amazon. So you know what that's about. Um, but yeah, that's what's on my iPad. And
and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below any apps that you think I should download, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!